In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to raise an invoice to a customer, so a sales invoice. Click on the customer module. As mentioned in previous videos, the modules may be at the top of the screen instead of the side. Click on the customer you wish to invoice, and then click on the create invoice button. You'll then be taken to this screen. The invoice number is generated automatically and so is the customer. The customer's address and delivery address will be pulled automatically from the customer's account. But if we wish to change this, for example, if we had a different delivery address, simply click on delivery address and you can change that. You can enter a purchase order if desired. So PO1234. The issue date is automatically set at today's date. So the 10th or the 6th, but, we, but you can change that by clicking on it and then changing the date. The due date is generated automatically by the payment terms that we set when we edited the customer. But we can change that once again by clicking on the box. Here is our invoice template at the bottom of the screen. If we click add line item, we can add an item to the invoice. So quantity one, description, monthly bookkeeping, rate, 20 pound, The subtotal and total is generated automatically and we can change the sales code here if desired. If we want to add a comment to the invoice, click add a comment and we can add a comment to the invoice such as paid by stat in order. Thank you for your business. Once the invoice is created, we can click save. We can add more items and more comments to the invoice by just clicking on add line item and add comment. Let's click save. And our invoice has been created. You'll notice at the top right, it says unpaid. Once the invoice has been paid, this will be marked as paid, not unpaid. If we go back to the customer module by clicking customers, you'll see there is an outstanding balance now to the bookkeeping master of £20. If we click on that customer, click on invoices, stats, etc. You'll see there is one outstanding invoice and the invoice details are given on this page. The amount due has been updated to £20. Total invoiced £20. And information about the first and last invoice is given. There is also a handy box down the bottom here which informs you of the average time this customer pays by, by days.